What is going on everybody? It is Frank the Tank and welcome to another Bowling by Jason Belmonte ball review and I told you, I knew it, I had a feeling it was coming and it is here. Take a look. The Idol Helios is in the game. I knew it when I saw the Cosmos. It, it was almost like they were hinting at it. They'd be fools not to add it into the game if they're going to add the Cosmos and just pass on the Helios. But here it is nonetheless. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful amongst the rest? The Idol Pro, the Idol, the Pearl, the Cosmos, and now the Helios. And where's the synergy? I don't know, but it doesn't matter because that ball, if I had to be honest, was the worst of all of them. I mean, if there, if there ever was a worse, that Idol synergy was it. Too lengthy. The back end... It didn't match with the length. I, I tried that ball in real life myself. Didn't have the best of times with it. But nonetheless, here we are with the Helios. And let's actually... Okay, they didn't add the product line, but I imagine it's a part of the HP3 like every single other one. They didn't do that this... They didn't do that with the Cosmos, but as you can see, product line HP3, Icon Core. But yeah, they at least put the Extreme Track Solid Reactive cover on it with the Icon Core. And I maxed out the power already, but let's see, the power is four, five, six, seven out of ten while without the power upgrade. The hook is, I believe that's seven point five out of ten, and the length is four five five point five out of ten. And then of course compare that to the OG idol. Uh, power is five out of ten. The hook is the same as the Helios, and the length is 5 out of 10. So that 0. 0.5 is the difference right there. And then, of course, the covers being changed. So I do remember when he, they added the Helios to the Storm website, they said that they added this Extreme Tracks solid cover to it. I think it was brand new at the time. They did it with the intent of making the ball a lot more responsive. And I did, that's, I, I did see that in real life. I remember with the idle. I could see that it wanted to grab at the spot where I could see where it wanted to, but it didn't turn where it grabbed. It skidded a little more out, and then uh, it had a lot of back end to it. It was like it wasn't rounded, but it was kind of leaning more towards a hockey stick kind of thing. Not completely, but it still had a little bit of a rounded shape to it, but a lot quicker around the corner. And uh, with this Helios, it's early. It grabs right where it doesn't skid that skid was eliminated it grabs where you expect it to and nice rounded change of direction it's not slow it's still a little quick but not as quick as the og idol so that's what i expect to see from this so let's begin okay we're going to start things off on the big ben pattern so i am going to go ahead and start making guesses uh, we'll go to because of how early this thing is, and I can't remember where I lined up with the idol, but I'm going to start on, I'm going to start on 30, and we're going to see what happens from there. There it is, you see that? You see, it's very early, but nice and, sl well, I don't want to say very slow, but it's rounded and not too quick around the corner. Let's try 35. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, for some reason it's putting me on 39, so let's try 39. It's 39. So we found it. Okay, 39 on this heavy Big Bend oil pattern. I, I, I like it. That's I like that, how it grabs where it should, and it doesn't skid. You know what I mean? I, I never really did like things like that. But yeah, look at that. That's real nice. And nice and easy around the corner. Very rounded. This thing, they made it to be exactly like real life. This is this is what I saw out of the Idol Helios in real life. So if you go too far out to the right, it does kind of recover, but not enough to really hit back. Not bad. Not bad. It, it, I don't know what would happen if I really missed out to the right. Would it get back and hit? I don't know. But I feel like I don't have a whole lot of room to mess up with this ball. That shows you right there. But there's definitely no skid. I mean, it may kind of look like right there when it 
got around the corner, but it's indeed responds where it should and doesn't skid when it wants to turn. Compared to this thing, like watch, let's go to 40. Look at that, see that, there's that skid. See how we got way out there? It wanted to respond like where uh, the Helios responded, but it didn't, it had to skid out there. And that's why that back end makes up for it. Let's go to 35, let's go five boards, see what happens. Not nearly enough. Even though that was a bad shot, I know this pattern does have quite a bit of miss room to it. Yeah, you see that? This ball is much weaker. There you go, see that? Wow, a 10 board difference. The idol has to be on 30, the Helios has to be on 40. That's insane. But they indeed nailed what they were trying to do, and that was make the idol Helios more responsive than the idol. And we just saw that right there clear as day. So let's pick up the Idol Pro. We were on 30 with the Idol. And you can see how much weaker the Pro is. What they did with this ball was they made it a little quick out uh, around the corner, but they made the back end a lot weaker. And they made the continuation a lot stronger. So that was definitely an interesting combination. big difference but yeah you can see that a lot more a lot more lengthy and the back end isn't as strong but the continuation is definitely there yeah they what they did with that idle pro was they took the same reaction from the idle that same back end towed it down quite a bit but they made the continuation very very strong and then of course here's the idle Weakest of the bunch, right there, on 19, straight up the board, well, not directly straight, but you you saw what happened there, and then, of course, you got your Cosmos will line up on 30, and even that gets back a little better than the Pearl, that's, that's amazing, so, there you go, that's the comparison right there, let's go to some other patterns and make a comparison there, let's try Stonehenge, and let's see what happens, so, start with the Helios, well, actually, let me see. Am I lined up on... No, I'm not. Okay, so let's try the Helios. We were on 30 on that very heavy oil pattern, so I assume... Well, it got back. But I wasn't convinced of that hit. But that hit I was. So we're on 40 on this pattern, too. But I feel like you kind of have to be very, very accurate because there's not a lot of room to miss. You see that? That went high. Yeah, yeah, you really got to get this ball out a little more to the right, but yeah, there you go. And then let's take the idle, and let's do that exact same thing on the same board. And I got her. <laughs> that was my fault, though. That was such a terrible shot. I got way too far out right. You see that right there, though? That ball just skids. And through the Helios, they eliminated that skid. See that? Even if I get it a little more to the left, it doesn't want to get back. It doesn't have the power to do that. It doesn't have the responsiveness, whereas the Helios... It does. So that is pretty amazing. Uh, let's go with the Idol Pro. Board 30. And he gets back. Nice. Very nice. So I assume that maybe I'm on 35 after what I saw with that Idol Pro. Let's give it a go. He gets back, but that's weak. So I'm going to move. Oh, it's recommending 34. Let's try 34. Didn't work. Didn't work at all. Let's try something else. Wow, this ball is really having trouble getting back, isn't it? Okay, 31. There's the hit. All right, there you go. So, big, big difference between the Helios and the OG Idol. Okay, we'll try the Idol Pearl on 25. Yeah, the lengthiest of the bunch. And then, of course, your Cosmos. Love this one. 
Ooh, nice messenger. Although that wasn't the board. We'll go to 31 again. There you go. Beautifully done. All right. So that is what these bowling balls all look like. And of course, the Helios tops the lot out of all of them in terms of how early it is and its back end not being the strongest thing, but because of that length, it makes it the strongest of the bunch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ball and just uh, the OG idle because, uh, you know, just to cut for time, I'm, I'm just going to take out, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the pro, the pearl, and I guess we'll keep the cosmos in there. And then we'll just compare these three. So we're going to get on Statue of Liberty. This pattern is known for making the ball look like it's lengthy, and we're going to see how it takes it. So we'll get on 25 with the OG idle. See what happens. And wow, it's making it look like it's a little earlier. So we'll go to 30. There you go. That's nice. That's very nice. But you can see how much that ball is really skidding. Now let's try the Cosmos. Okay, I was on 30 with the Idol, so we'll get on 30 with the Cosmos. Doesn't pick up, so there's that cover stock difference right there. But we'll do it one more time. Get a little more to the left. And could not get the 10 out. How about 29? That was a strike. I'm counting that. I don't care. That That is some BS. Now let's try the Helios. See how that compares. Get on 30. Wow. So I got to move as I expected. Couldn't be more obvious. From 30 to 35. Didn't get that ball out right enough, but from that I could tell that I probably need to move anyway. Go to 38. And the ball gets back. So this pattern, this ball is perfect. If you don't like the look of your ball looking lengthy, this thing will defy all that. But I will say you don't really get a lot of misroom because of that early read that this ball has. See that? You can miss out. You got some miss room to the right, though, for sure. But if you do that, not going to work. All right, now I'm trying 40 because of what I saw. That's the one. So we're on 40 again. This ball proving to be the strongest yet again. So now, let's see. We'll take this to, I don't know. Eiffel Tower. Let's take it to Eiffel Tower and we're going to see what happens. Okay. Eiffel Tower. Let's see. We'll try 25 and see what we can work with there. All right. Got to move again. Try 30. Still isn't enough. But this just shows you how strong these bowling balls are. Try 35. Light hit. Very light. So maybe 33. And there she is. All right, we're on 33 with the idol. Let's try the Cosmos. As I expected, I, I got a little to the left of what I threw the idol. But the ball being pearl, I knew it was going to skid out more. Now let's take this. I know what's going to happen, so I'm going to get ahead of the game and move to 38. Yep, I knew it. Even with that bad shot. I purposely threw that out right because I knew, I just knew. So let's go to 40 again. Oh, good God, this ball. Okay, I'm moving to 42 after that. 
Still isn't enough. I mean, I could just purposely throw the ball out more to the right, but I want to play this pattern what how I feel it should be played. Well, I hit the pocket, but I couldn't get that seven out, and it still hit pretty good. I'd say that's unlucky, but I think maybe 46 is the way to go. Yeah, 46 is the way to go, so wow, that's crazy. From 33 to 46 between the idol and the Helios, man. That's ridiculous. All right. Very, very funny. Very funny. Yeah. All right. Boardwalk time. Shortest pattern in the game. Going to see what we can do with that. Very nice ball motion. This ball and this pattern, I like it. I like the way it gets around the corner. Really do. Makes the length and the motion look good. So good. Really like it. Hit the friction a little early. Oh, couldn't get the six out. But anyway, I don't know. I don't think 31 is the board. Ooh, that was nice. Very nice. I hit the friction a little early, but it got back around and made up for it. If I keep it in the oil, it doesn't get back around, so that's definitely not the right way. But this pattern, because of those dry parts on the edges, it kind of makes it like a versatile pattern. It makes the bowling ball, you know, it, you can attack it different ways, basically. So we'll try 29. Keep it in the oil. Got back around, couldn't get the 10 out, so I assume 28 is the board. Keeping it in the oil. Yeah, that was nice. I like that. Let's get that Cosmos in there. Hit the friction. Stayed just enough. Got back. Not what I was looking for, but it was still really, really nice. Keep it in the oil. Through the nose. So I think the Idol and the Cosmos match together, even. Despite their different covers. Oh, beautiful ball motion. Yeah, so I guess that they're... they're Practically even, but on different patterns, they there's obviously going to be differences. And then, of course, if we take this, go to 35. Ooh, I knew it. I knew it. Early, even if I keep it in the oil, wants to turn it, digs in. Got a little to the right, got back, hit the pocket, couldn't get the 10 out, but yeah, 35. Compared to the idle, I was on 27. Very crazy. Let's go off the rails and try arsenic. Okay, now I do remember having tried this ball on this pattern a long time ago, well, the idle. And I remember I had to go in very much to the right, more than I'm used to with this ball. I think I was on 12, but man, this was tricky, so let me try this. Yeah, I remember that. Yes. Okay, so very down and in kind of look to it. And then the Cosmos, I assume, is probably going to be much weaker. Not really. Kind of the same, but it looks lengthier even though it still makes it around in time. I'll try that once more. See if I can make it. Yeah! Down and in with the Cosmos and the Idol. But what about this thing? Doesn't want to move to the right. You saw that. Wow. Okay. Let's try to get it out to the right. Stay right there. Just stay right there. But if you mess up and don't get that ball to push out right, that'll happen. Wow. Even if I got out to the right, it still gets back, so that's real nice. We got ourselves a very early rolling ball with a nice rounded back end. 
not as strong as the gem or the DNA or I can't I can't remember. I think that I said the gem was the strongest ball in the game now. So yeah, definitely not as strong as that, but still really, really good. All right, let's do this. Easy street. We'll start with the idol. We'll get on 35. And I went through the nose, so I know that's not enough. And knowing this now, I'm a little afraid. Because I hate playing so far to the left like that. We'll go to 38. Hit the friction a little. Go through the nose. That was my bad. All right, so based off of that shot, I'm almost there. Let's try 40. Not bad. That seemed about right, but I hit the friction a little early. So I'll try to keep it in the oil a little more or do that, whatever. Let's see if I can make it to the corner. Well, I'm striking, so I, I, I want to say that maybe 40 is the way to go. Yeah, even if I keep it in the oil a little longer, it still makes it. Yeah, even if I make it to the corner precisely, it still makes it there. So 40 is the way to go with the idle. I assume with the Cosmos, it's the same thing. Yeah, just about the same thing. So if we took the Helios, what would happen? It would do that. Man. Son of a gun said the idol was like, I'm early and I'm strong, and the Helios was like, <laughs> stand aside. Let me show you let me show you what I'm capable of. So Helios, let's see. I was on 40, so let's go to 45. Oh, I hit the friction a little bit. That's the tough part about this. So that means that I'm at a point where I have to use, I get the, need to get the ball out to the right, and I cannot touch this little section right here, right at the beginning. I can't even touch a little bit of it, or this ball will take a hard turn to the left. So that means I would have to do that and use the friction to get the ball back. So yeah, okay. No miss room. I have to get that ball out there. Yeah, so I would have to play it like that, but I can't just get it too much out to the right too early, or you'll see it, it'll kind of hook stop. It'll burn out like that. Yeah, pretty much like that. So that's, I'm not overly fond of something like that, though. That's tough to do. Time and time again. Yeah, see that? Too much out to the right, and it just stops, and it's it's over. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps it up. That was the idol. Uh, Helios, that, really nice. Um, I, I enjoyed that. Uh, it's early, definitely, like, I want to say, I don't want to say an improvement over the idol, but, like, in the game, definitely, because as you can see, like, I don't know, I, I, I used the Helios for a little bit of time, and it's, it's early, it's... Not doesn't have the strongest back end, but it's it's rounded. It's not as quick as the idol, but you know, then you go back to the idol and it's got all that length to it, that skid, and you're like, I don't like that. So, but in real life, I wouldn't call it an improvement. I would call it a great addition to the arsenal because you know the idol is obvious in real life is obviously great. Um, it's early, but it has that skid to it, and then it has that really strong back end to it, kind of quick little turn to it it's not rounded like the helios and then of course like say if you're done with the helios and it's not giving you what you want and you need something earlier a lot more responsive better uh circular rounded type of motion then you can turn to the helios and then of course if you needed a pearl version of that you could turn to the cosmos so there you go real nice um Again, uh, I've still been getting like some comments, not on YouTube, but like through my social media, like uh, people are telling me that they can't get the, they don't get these packs. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, 
try to email the um, the people in charge of the game. I mean, hopefully they get back to you. I don't know. Again, I'm not in contact with them. I don't work with them anymore. So I'm earning this stuff just like you guys having to play through the Clash or I wait for the pack. And honestly, what are these prices? Is that a glitch? There's no way that that thing could be 50 bucks. A hundred bucks if you want to buy the ball with the pin, the matching pins. I don't remember that happening. I mean, I remember I actually, the the hustle was like $12. That better be a glitch. I, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. You see that? The, there it is. There's the evidence, clear as day. The, um, you know, you just wait a week after the release of the ball and it should show up as a pack. Like, for example, the Helios just got released in the Clash, right? Here we are, right? There it is. And, yeah, I mean... If you don't want to do that, or if you end up wasting your three strikes, you wait a week, and then it should show up in the promotions as a as a pack for you to buy. So, I don't know. I mean, must be a glitch, must be some kind of problem, because if I'm getting it, no problem like that. So, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you other than if you don't get, get it like this, to email them or try to get in contact with them through Facebook or something. But anyway, that is the Idol Helios. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I can't wait to see what they do next week. So, until next week, guys, see you around.